Hey there, welcome to Concept Hunter. Last week we saw a game that blends together both educating me, being an education game, and the game parts pretty much perfectly. This week we're going to take a look at a game that I feel tries to do that, but kind of gets in its own way and isn't really sure what it's trying to do. It's called Transmission, and I want to click the About section first and just read it aloud for you. Transmission is about creating networks to communicate information. By connecting transmitters and receivers, players send information around increasingly complex networks. It accompanies the Science Museum's Information Age Gallery, which explores how our lives have been transformed by information and communication technologies over the last 200 years. If I'll click the Learn More, which I'm not going to do right now, I'll be sent to uh, the Science Museum webpage, which is an actual museum with, you can see all the information there. And that's a, that's a pretty great thing. So this is supposed to accompany that information age gallery, and it feels to me like it really needs to be alongside that gallery, because as a standalone game, it doesn't do a very good job of educating me. However, it is a good game for itself, with a few hiccups. So we're going to talk about both of these things, the game for itself, and also how it tries to educate me and doesn't do a great job about it. So I'm going to click continue. It's going to send me forward, but I'm going to go back into the very first level telegraph. And we start each of these sections. Uh, clearly, there's progression. You know, you start with a telegraph, then a telephone, then a computer. It makes sense. We're going to start with this exposition. And this exposition is a tiny little amount of words that kind of tries to explain what we're going to do. Um, telegraph networks send simple messages quickly from point to point. Pulses of electricity representing letters and words flow between transmitters and receivers. So this is kind of a, a very basic, very rudimentary explanation of how, what's a, what a transmitter and a receiver is. And then we actually get to see the game itself. But note how we're immediately switching over to gamey elements. This is an information cube, it's not a thing that exists in real life. Uh, send the information from the transmitter to the receiver. So a circle is a transmitter and a square is a receiver. We draw the line and uh, yay, we've, we've established the network properly, everything got what it needs and we're good. Network complete, fill all receivers with information. We got the star, uh, you know, there's a star system which we'll get to later. All right, that's that's kind of fine. And we, we're actually, we just finished level one, so I'm here instead of moving me forward to level two, which I actually clicked level one one initially because I thought that's where I am, but I'm actually at level one two because I just moved forward. All right, remember, fill all receivers with information to complete each level. You don't really need to remind me that because I just did it and you just taught me that and that took zero seconds. Mm, and I, 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 you expect me, I, I wanted to say, okay, but, but it's not okay. You reminded me something that I really didn't need to be reminded of. And even if this is meant for children, for kids, don't doubt, don't, don't, um, underestimate kids. They, they understood. They understand better than most adults. And it's kind of, it feels like something that's just stuck in my way to moving forward. And those are, I just only gave you two examples, but there's more and we'll, we'll see them as we move forward. There's things in this game that just hinder my game experience all the time. And it feels like I keep getting stuck in a wall. Okay, whatever. Okay, stuck in a wall. Okay, and then I can continue actually playing it. And uh, it, that's kind of annoying. Here is an example. They teach me that I can, I can remove some of them, uh, some of the lines in case I want to redo. And now note there's ta 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 ta. So it actually, it told me the network that I just did. And I'll show you that again if I'll jump over to telephone. We're not going to go over the exposition. It's, it's just an exposition it's similar to what we already saw. But there's this thing. This is a transceiver. All right, it tells me a transceiver. Remember, okay, fine. Can I play now, please? Transmitter to the transceiver and then the transceiver into the receiver. So I'm learning that there's also this thing called a transceiver, but it's not... I mean, it's a tiny little bit of information. I'm not actually learning as I'm playing. I'm playing a game and then I'm learning a tiny bit of information about communication and it's not really explaining how the system works. It's just throwing out kind of big words. That's, that's my feeling for it. Transmitter, transceiver, receiver. So I'm gonna do this and note, note, I just did this network. I just did this and I'm doing this. So that is the network that I did in this level. Okay, I just did it. And now the game is gonna tell me again, you did this, look, you went there and then you went there, okay. It repeats this. Note we only have three elements in, the, in, the, in this specific level. But if we'll jump ahead, 
which luckily we could do because I already played it. If we'll jump ahead to, I don't know what, what level, um, 4-1, okay, okay, this one, this one is a bad level because it just shows us a new element of the antenna. Uh, but it actually tells us, okay, it went here and then it went over everything. In later stages, we have a ton of different things. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and show you by jumping to maybe 3-3 in computer. There are, okay, looping information. Not the best example, but still, it tells me the network. Why are you telling me? I just did that. This is another hindrance. It's a thing that I need to go over instead of clicking forward. And I found myself, okay, finish the level. Click forward. You saw that arrow at the right bottom side of the screen, which you can click to move forward. I was mad at the game at some points because it, it keeps stopping me because it tries to tell me something. It tries to, to tell me things that I've already know. And if I'll finish this level, I'm not gonna do that right now because this seems complicated. I just, it, it keeps stopping me in place. And that's really annoying. And the, the experience of playing through the game should be streamlined quite a lot, um, quite a lot more than it is right now because I'm, I'm really stopping. In addition to that, the education part, as you, as you can see, it's just in these tiny little segments. And I think, I feel, that this is really meant to accompany that exhibition, that um, the information age that they were talking about for the Science Museum. It feels like you kind of need to, to see something in the exhibition, then play one of these trees of levels, and then go over another thing, and then play these trees. Like these, these trees are supposed to just kind of emphasize what you've already learned. But I don't feel that they do that. I see this as a complete game that's, other than the experience being keep keep getting stuck for gamey reasons, it also keeps getting stuck with that education, with that information. The education part hinders the gameplay by just being stuck there. And, you know, if you didn't have this theme, and I see this as nothing but a theme of communication, the game would be better for it. Because it still ha it still look amazing, and it does look amazing. It's highly polished. Everything is, is beautiful. It would just streamline a lot better without that information that doesn't really educate me enough. I mean, these, these tiny little bits of information is pretty much all I get, and it doesn't help too much. So that, those are the, the, the main issues. The one extra thing um, that I'm going to say as I try and, and solve this one, I have no idea if I'm actually... Yeah, I managed to solve it. Now it's going to tell me everything. Screw you. I want to move forward. Um, the one last thing that I have to say uh, that I can't really show you is in terms of the progression. Uh, the progression in terms of elements is great because you have these trees and you, you keep telling me more new things, which is fine. But the progression in terms of difficulty feels kind of like spikes to me because it was very easy with few elements and then there were 15 elements and I've, I have no idea where to start. This, this is weird and difficult and I don't know what the hell I'm doing, which, leads me to, which led me to just uh, trial and error until I kind of got the level right. Um, which is fine, but I wish it was a little bit more nicer. The progression would be a little bit more nicer. That might be just me. This is something that you need to really play test in order to, to get a feel for the progression, if it's good or not. Uh, but it's something that I wanted to mention. So it's called Transmission. Again, it's by the Science Muse uh, Museum. Why am I saying musician? Uh, the design is by Loju, if I read his name correctly. And... Um, it feels to me like it's it's trying... It's not really sure if it's an education game or not, but it has a lot of, a couple of things that just get stuck in your way uh, of the actual game. That is good. All right? That's the end of Concept Hunter. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this has been interesting, and I'm um, looking forward to seeing what, what more you, you do when you balance out the education parts and the game parts of your game. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.